The Lost Vape Centaurus. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. You know, it seems like just a few weeks ago, I was kind of bemoaning the company of Lost Vape. Back in the day, they used to make a lot of really cool stuff, a lot of really cool mods, some really cool squonkers. Then they kind of switched gears and went for this like AIO, like Q Ultra pod system kind of stuff, just kind of mediocre stuff. Well, it appears that they may be going back to their roots and releasing some kind of cool stuff. And this is the Lost Vape DNA 250C Dual 18650 Centaurus regulated mod. Let me give you a little bit of up closey porn. It truly and honestly is a very pretty mod. I really like this leather on here. It's a little bit squishy, not quite as squishy as like the Geek Vape Aegis stuff, but a little bit squishy. Fake leather, pleather, that's not real leather. I do believe this is real carbon fiber on here. Feels real nice, real textured. The overall fit and finish of it is pretty stellar, except for that one thing that Lost Vape continues to do that I will never understand. For some reason, on every Lost Vape mod, their 510 connection is just a little bit raised up. I can't get any atomizer to ever sit flush because it's impossible. They just sit up a little bit, and if you catch it at the right angle, you'll see visually a gap underneath your RDA. I'll try to get you a better picture of this, but honestly, it just drives me bonkers. I don't know why they don't just have a flush 510 on there. Maybe it's to protect the top, but you're covering up the top anyway. That's one thing I've never understood. If you're trying to prevent those scratches on the top of your mod, then don't use your mod. If your RDA does scratch the top of your mod, it's gonna cover those scratches anyway while you're using it. This is the 24 millimeter Rye RDA. No overhang, fits on here great. This could probably accommodate 25 millimeter RDA, maybe at the most. I'm certainly not gonna sit here and go over the whole DNA 250C menu system and how it works and how to switch it to temperature control and things like that. It's a fairly standard board that's in a lot of mods. And I really, really like it. I use it strictly in wattage mode, but the DNA 250C gives me that great flat DNA signal. It's just, it's just a real smooth, nice vape. Very consistently powered. This is a 0.13 dual coil on here, I can easily run it at 90 watts. No big deal. Even though it does look like there's some sharp edges on here, they're not really sharp edges. Everything's been sort of rounded off for comfort, including this little corner down here, which if you're a person that holds your mod like this and hits your fire button with your thumb, that little corner, it's gonna be right in your palm right there. I tend to hold it like this, leather down in my palm, finger on the fire button. The one part of this I was kind of worried about was the door, but I feel like Lost Vape has done a really good job with this. The door on the bottom, even though it's this like boom trap door kind of opening, you don't really get a lot of wobble or a lot of side to side. I mean, there's a little bit of it there. And most of all, you can just press it and it clicks in and it, and it feels nice. It feels nice and secure. The few times that I have dropped this and done a complete yard sale with it, the battery door has popped open. The batteries have kind of popped out. I just feel like that's kind of unavoidable if you have this style of battery door. But it's kind of got that classic look to it. It's that old school Hemo kind of C-frame look to it that I've always really, really enjoyed. It's got a slick aesthetic. I love the stainless steel sort of retro stereo equipment kind of look to it. There's practically no rattle or sounds from the buttons at all. They're, they're really well machined and they fit in there real nice. Truly and honestly, over the last few weeks, this has been like my go-to regulated device. It's just so damn reliable and honestly, Anything looks cool on it. You can throw stainless steel things on here. You can throw black things on here to match the carbon fiber. You can kind of throw whatever you want on there. So let's get down to brass tacks, as it were, or is. Are you gonna need your vape budget hands if you wanna check out the Lost Vape Centaurus? 
Yeah, probably. Clicking around the internet, I can find it from about $160 to $170. And that's kind of, honestly, just a big chunk of change to spend on a mod. So yeah, you're probably gonna need a little bit of vape budget hands there if you wanna check out the Lost Vape Centaurus. Centaurus? Centaurus. There's no I in there. Now, let's play the Aliens game if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they have come and taken everything I have. I got nothing left to vape. Is the Lost Vape Centaurus something I'm gonna seek out and buy right away. Here's the thing, probably not. And it's not because I don't like it, it's because there is a world of regulated devices out there that kind of already exist on the market. This is kind of just the newest, best thing from Lost Vape. So if you want the newest, best thing from Lost Vape, the Centaurus is kind of the only game in town. If you want a good regulated mod, well, then you have literally thousands to choose from. I'm kind of glad that Lost Vape is getting back to their roots a little bit and releasing kind of this banger C-frame style, just real reliable mod, but it's nothing really super new or revolutionary. It's stainless steel with carbon fiber and leather. You know, we've all played this game before. But that's what I got for today, everybody. Remember, no links are allowed in the description, so you're gonna have to use that Google Foo, but thank you, seriously, so much for watching. And remember, no matter what anybody tells you, vaping is at least 95% less harmful for you than burning combustible tobacco cigarettes. So yeah, absolutely, let's keep on vaping. Seriously, so much for watching, and remember, no matter what anybody... Someday I'll get through that without stumbling over my words. <laughs>